In this video, I am going to review Gentoo. Gentoo is a well-known Linux uh, distro which so many people uses. Yeah, I am just kidding. Which very little people uses. But mainly the people who use are basically um, really into Linux distros. Like people who use Arch Linux. Uh, but the user base of Gentoo is less than Arch Linux. That means that Gentoo users will have a hard time to talk to each other and get doubts cleared. Uh, it took me a while, around 3 days to get my Gen2 installed ready because mainly due to compiling and uh, some fails and after compilation failure I had to uh, resort to some methods for resolving those but I just followed the guide and it worked. Let's try using Gen2 then. I haven't installed PyLmos so this will be the booting sequence. It will be kind of in the verbose mode. Uh, you could also disable these outputs, like just you know, just show basic stuff. But yeah, I like the verbose mode. So yeah, uh, first of all, this uh, I I have configured to have uh, basically ground display manager, so the GDM, and this is GDM three, and you can kind of th see that it is actually having the Gentoo logo at the bottom. And here, uh, there is my user. So I am clicking on the user and typing in a really secure password, which kind of everyone knows at this point. And uh, it should take me to GNOME desktop environment, uh, which I have kind of set up. So the thing is, uh, Gentoo is totally customizable. So it depends on what, how, what, and how you set up. Uh, so it is like you can you can actually uh, have different different uh, uh, configurations. There are already pre-configured uh, settings for you, so that you can just you know emerge world. So yeah, uh, there are a lot of ways in which you can configure Gentoo. Uh, first of all, what I what I got here is some basic stuff. Other than that, I don't have library office and those kind of things. But I can say for sure that don't try compiling Mozilla Firefox because most probably you'll fail at it. Uh, it requires a lot of RAM to compile and also a lot of time. So yeah, uh, there is actually a pre-compiled version of uh, Mozilla Firefox available in the general repository. Uh, so let's see what is different. You can kind of see that this uh, this thing looks black. Actually, yeah, if you have seen my Ubuntu uh, 20.04 review, there I have actually mentioned that GNOME is normally black, but uh, it was white. So this is the stock look which we expect. And going into settings, you can kind of see that uh, the settings looks uh, very, very, very similar to uh, what Ubuntu offers. Uh, it is just because it is basically uh, Basically, you know, uh, Ubuntu itself, I mean, <laughs> not Ubuntu, uh, uh, GNOME desktop environment itself. Uh, both Ubuntu and this uses the same, but Ubuntu has customized and added. Okay, if you hear some sounds in the background, this is really hard to film in, you know, whatever place I am in. So, yeah. Uh, right. So uh, yeah, this is the ground setting. So it is it is kind of you know uh, what you expect. So yeah, okay, uh, you can see the specifications of the virtual machine, and uh, yeah, this is running ground three point three two, and uh, you can actually see that this is Gen two, and uh, yeah, the graphics I do think uh, it is llvm pipe so it may be something something it is like you know the K kvm thing right so yeah uh, i guess that works yeah pretty much pretty much if you think about it this is bare bones uh, ground so if you have ever used uh, arch linux you will be familiar with this uh, death job like it is it is kind of you know, same so one thing I can't, I couldn't w uh, make it work is VLC Media Player. So I don't know why it doesn't work. So it, it, it kind of segmentation falls. So what about terminal? 
this is like ground town no? and i do have ether fish uh, i don't have ether fish i guess you know uh, so yeah uh, for showing the town no? uh, like uh, for, for showing the shell like in this shell so yeah this is bash so i do have bash and uh, this looks like really looks like ether fish so i'm pretty sure that they have they have uh, a custom configuration for bash uh, pre-installed so yeah that is that is cool like this looks like a ubuntu kind of bash thing uh, but other than that it is all same yeah the, you can actually see there is the uh, uh, tab all which i used to install the system but yeah other than that i guess uh, it is kind of same like it is same as what do you if what you have used if if you use Arch Linux. Uh, only thing is you have to compile each and every packages, and you don't have the AUR thing. So yeah, uh, I guess uh, that is that is it. Uh, so let's try to install a package. Zero emerge. I finish and ask. So uh, we we have to give the package name. So let's try installing and load hope that is not installed yeah i know that there is some configuration errors with vlc yeah that that can actually be fixed so yeah not a biggie yes so it is asking me whether i have to do that uh, it actually asked me just because i did tell it to ask me but if I don't tell it to ask me, then it will just directly go and download and install this. Now it is compiling, so yeah. And now it is compiled and now it's installing. And uh, yeah, the, the package manager you use here is actually Portage, uh, which is kind of analogous to DPKG in uh, Debian and also uh, in. in uh, Arsenex is that everything is Pac-Man, so yeah. So, yep. Uh, Portage is really old, like it is, it is, I guess, I guess I remember Portage from, I guess when I was maybe like uh, in 10th standard or so, so maybe 2014 or something like that. Uh, it was in a Unix distro, I don't remember which one it was. So. It is, it is really old. Yeah, so let's try and load. And here you go, and load is working fine. So yeah. If you want a, uh, Linux distro. Don't install Gen2. If you want a very customizable Linux distro, then obviously install Arch Linux or Gen2. If you have a PC with not a big of browsing power, then don't install Gen2. And also, if you if you are not willing to uh, like wait for some time for each package to install, then don't don't install Gen2. And if you uh, really want everything to work the moment you install, then don't install Gen2. If those are the cases, then try Arch Linux. That will be much more better than Gen2. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, the other button also works. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. And I guess that is this. Like that is it for this video. Bye-bye.